people, this is Mark from Cash Change Works. I hope you are well. Have you noticed when you speak to people, particularly service providers, customer services even, and I would dare to say most people, that when you speak to them, they don't listen. And when they listen, they don't hear the message either. Very frustrating. I'll give you an example. I went to a particular mobile phone or cell phone network provider the other day. And I was asked by a certain someone to get them the old style pay as you go SIM cards. Now, as you know, the old style SIM cards is where you get the SIM card, put it in your phone, you put X amount of money on it, and every time you make a phone call or send a message, that amount of money that you had starts to deplete up until the point where you had nothing and then you could ring the number and you could add more money to it and so it carried on. That's the old style, the classic style, pay as you go. <clears throat> and in the infinite wisdom of the mobile phone network provider gods, they've decided that that is now redundant. They're going to make these things 30 days at a time. So whether you use your phone or not, you still have to pay for it. Or, of course, you can have your pay monthly phones. So, so I went to this, and I would say a very well-known network provider. And I walk, and I see this a uh, couple of people in front of me in the queue, which is fine. And it's my turn. And I says to the chap, can you please tell me whether you sell the classic pay-as-you-go SIM cards where when you put your money in, you only deplete when you use the phone. It only depletes when it, you use the phone. And the guy says to me, well, we've got the 30-day, we've got the triple amount, you, <clears throat> or you can have the double top-up if you want, and you renew it every 30 days. No, sir. I did not ask you for that. How frustrating. <clears throat> I then go to another network provider. And I say to the person, do you have the old style pay as you go? First of the guy didn't even know what I was talking about, which was quite interesting because he was a youth. So I can pardon his lack of knowledge there. And he went, yes, we do, but you have to top it up every 30 days. And I says, that's not what I've asked you for. I've asked you for the classic style, the old school style. I don't know. I will then have to go and ask to see whether we still do those or not. Long story short, the person who wanted the SIM card has it now. <clears throat> because the second store, once I've explained for the second time, the guy heard what I said. And it made me wonder how many of us as people, when people talk to us, do we just listen for certain words and we react because that's where our interest is? It's part of who we are, it's what we've come through, or is it just we don't listen at all? We only hear what we want to hear, this selective hearing business. 
I wonder what would happen if we actually paid real close attention to what we are being told. Because you see, just like me, when I was speaking to those network providers, I got a little bit agitated because they failed to hear quite a simple message. Old school, classic SIM cards where you put your money on and it depletes as you use it. The first chap did not have a clue what I said. He, all he heard was, pay as you go. He completely omitted to hear the classic and then the description where the money depletes as you use it. He completely missed all that because all he heard was, pay as you go, and he responded with the various pay-as-you-go options I had available. No. However, I wonder whether I myself am guilty of only listening out for certain things. Are you guilty of listening only to certain words, certain phrases, trigger words, those that spark your your ears to go, ping, listen out now, what's coming next is really important, because a certain word or phrase has been used that concerns something that interests you. And it made me wonder how complicated customer service staff what are their training schedules what are they being taught to listen for certain things or do they are they trained to listen to everything listening is a tough job it's not easy when you listen to things you listen to the words you listen to the message you listen to the emotions you might listen to things that aren't necessarily being said it's hard work takes a lot of concentration when you properly listen. Carl Rogers called it active listening. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. With the periodic paraphrasing back. I think he was onto something there, albeit that I have issues with Carl Rogers in his approach, but Primarily as a baseline, I think he was completely correct in his approach to his counselling style. So if I can pose you a challenge for the next day or two, really sit and listen to what you're being told. And then you'll find out it is not easy. And when you then speak to others and they don't get what you are trying to say. Maybe our natural response of agitation and frustration will be dampened somewhat because they, at the other end, might do this all day, every day. So my encouragement is this, do the little exercise, find out for yourself how complicated and how difficult listening really is. And secondly, as in my case, maybe a little bit more appreciation and tolerance is needed for when we try and convey a message over to someone who might not necessarily get it the first time. I would like to hear your stories on this particular video. Because ultimately, the only way the world actually moves from point A to point B is by conversation. And we miss it oftentimes. So there you go. Whatever you thought about this video, please let us know. Do all the YouTube admin, please. The share, the subscribe, the comments, hit the bell, pick call, tell all your friends, tell all your family to subscribe to the channel. For now, this is Mark from Color Change Works. 
I'll speak to you soon.